Hi everyone. Now this video is a follow-on to the pre-shot routine video that I did a couple of weeks ago and I'll pop a link for you um, down in the description to that video but essentially both my son and I uh, showed you our pre-shot routines and we talked about how important it was to get yourself a repeatable pre-shot routine one where you, it will slow you down and get you focusing and all that sort of stuff. So what I thought I'd do since I went out to the New South Wales Open last week, this is the guys here playing now, and I, I videoed a few pre-shot routines. It was really quite interesting uh, to see how similar they all were. Um, generally, they've all got a practice swing in them. Um, generally, uh, they have they stand behind the ball like you've got a guy here who's using his GPS they allow GPS is in this event it just sort of speeds things up a little bit now he's che he's chosen his club using his GPS it is a bit windy um, so I think he may have he's changed his club there because he wasn't sure so here he is he's having a bit of a practice swing he's now standing behind and he's picking his spot that he wants to line up over He's coming through. Let's see how many times he looks up at the whole one. Just the one so far. Another one, two. He's had a little bit of a waggle. And off he goes. So that's a nice, simple, easy, repeatable pre-shot routine. Let's have a little look at our next guy here. Um, excuse the wobble of my camera. Uh, so again, he's standing behind. He's discussing with his caddy. Uh, or actually, no, he's not. He's a left-hander. That's why he's <laughs> facing his caddy. So he's got a um, couple of practice swings. Stand behind, get his line up. Now another practice swing. Be interesting to see because I've only got the one here. Be interesting to see if this is identical to his usual. Okay, so he's changed his club as well. Okay, let's see if he does the same thing again. Okay, practice swing, stand behind, have a look. It's interesting how similar they are to each other. See how many times he looks up at the, oh, look up once. It's hard to see his head there, isn't it? It's just a flick in here. This is the ninth hole at Concord. They were hitting driver sort of half wedge in. All right, now let's go for our third guy, see what he does. Practice swing. Stand behind, check the alignment. Alignment's so important. If you don't aim where you need to aim, it's very hard to hit it there, obviously. One look. Two looks. And hit. So that, again, pretty simple. Generally, when they're looking up at the hole, they're visualising the shot they want to play. Here's some behind the scenes stuff at Concord Golf Course. There's quite a few people out watching nice atmosphere I thought what I would do is show you some putting routines as well um, now as you probably know some of the pros can take an awfully long time with their putting and this guy here is a bit of an example in that he's going to walk all the way down to the front and he's even his caddy's going to go and have a little look as well now I think it's a great idea to look at the hole from both sides um, but in normal sort of amateur play when you're playing in the club comps and things it can be too time consuming everyone's very sort of conscious of slow play and everything so if you want to look from the other side I would suggest doing it as you walk up onto the green um, obviously in pro professional play like this they they are allowed a little bit extra time but did you notice that he he had his ball up marked and up when he walked around to the other side and now he's only just put it down might have been very difficult for him to see that ball from the other side which I think is interesting I think it would have been easy to leave the ball down so he could see it from the other side but anyway the people get into these habits and then they just do the same thing over and over again so he stood behind and looked at his line and now he's setting up over and he's just had one practice swing he's looking at the hole oh I tell a lie he actually putted that didn't he so he didn't even have a practice stroke he left it short there. You can see he's still lining up for the second one. Now we've got our second guy who's sitting down behind having a look at the line. Let's see how many putting strokes he has. Look up at the hole. 
take his set up, look up again, bit of a wobble and he's going to putt. So no practice stroke for him on the putting green. Okay, well, that's a nice quick putting stroke routine or putting routine. Which is what you want. I think um, Matt Jones last week won on the US tour and they said that he was one of the fastest players they'd ever seen. The commentators were blown away by how quick he was. About four seconds I think it took him on each shot which is almost unheard of in the pro ranks. So here we go. This guy's getting down behind having a look. See if he does a practice stroke or not. Looking at the whole, yeah, looking at the whole and practice stroking which is something I talked about in our video. It's a good idea. I love that where you're looking at the hole and, and sort of practicing the stroke as you go. Okay, well hopefully you found this interesting. Um, develop your own pre-shot routine if you don't already have one. Keep it simple. A practice swing, a couple of looks up, visualize the shot you want to play. Try and include somewhere in there your alignment so you're staying behind and checking where you want to line up over. And with your putting, keep it simple as well. But keep it um, repeatable, something that just gets you in the zone, gets you slowing down, gets you focusing on your shot. All right, good luck with it.